屋上のユリレースさん。女の子大好きだよ !Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome back to another episode of Kindred's Spirits on the Roof, on the Dog. First of all, by the way, as you can clearly tell, the audio quality is back to its original quality, obviously. Just a little side note, last two weeks, I'm terribly sorry for the terrible audio quality, but my fucking Razer mic that you can see right here, you probably heard the crackling and I couldn't bear with you listening to that bullshit. So I just used like a spare mic that I actually bought off of Amazon and actually now I got this beautiful thing right here, which is a... I can't find... a HyperX Quad... 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 What was it? Quad... So, quad something. So if you want to get that mic, by the way, it's like 100 bucks. It's pretty damn good. But aside from that, let's jump right back into Kindred Spirits on the Roof. Because we left off at a pretty significant day, which in this case would be a Sunday, 21st of October. Last time um, we got through a through basically four weeks of uh, Yuna just being completely, completely... We're just clueless on what to do, basically, and now she actually mustered up the strength to, or the courage to talk to someone, which is Arno, and she said, you know, I'm fully there, I'm fully supporting you on whatever you're gonna do, I'm there for you. So, we're gonna see. We are on bond number seven, and we're gonna see if uh, Yuna is actually now decided to confess her love towards Hina. It's gonna be really interesting. Um, she didn't do it, apparently, on the sleepover. So, nothing has happened there, so let's check out if something happens in Bond 7, my friends. But I actually gotta say, I loved uh, I loved the last episode because, you know, or the, the last, uh, the last uh, session that I did, the last three episodes, I think it was. Because, you know, it, you, you could just clearly tell that Yuna was just completely puzzled. The game captured that mo- that- that- that state of her mind where she was just completely like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, it's all, I don't know, I'm just completely, I'm, I'm just completely blown over. The game captured that feeling perfectly because I really f felt really bad for her. I was cleaning up after breakfast, the day after our study session, Sunday morning. Hina was still here, but Ano had gone home after we ate together. She was kind of unsteady on her feet, laughing and quipping that it had been a long time since she'd been so exhausted. I'm sorry and thank you, I'd said, seeing her off. After that, I cleaned up our dishes, asking for Hina's help for the first time in a long while. I washed the dis dishes, Hina wiped them dry. The clinking of dishes hitting each other, the sound of water coming from the faucet. Hina's footsteps as she put away the silverware in a drawer. I moved my hands while I listened to those sounds. I'd been so too nervous to have Hina around me after her confession, so I turned her down whenever she offered to help me cook or clean up. So she's making progress. I filled my thoughts with cooking, cleaning, and studying so that I wouldn't have to worry or thi to worry or think. And when I couldn't do that, I worried and thought. I spent this whole time failing to find my answer, not being able to answer her. It'd been almost a month now. You're gonna confess now? I mean, Anu is gone now. Last night I talked to Anu. I told her everything, and I heard what she had to say. I finally had the feeling I knew what I had to do. So, I thought, as Arno has, had advised me to. <laughs> Basically like with Koba, you know, you start off as... Well, it doesn't work like you, like that, but you know, that step-by-step -step that she said reminded me of uh, Koba, where she said, you know, start off as friends and then progress from there, from there onwards. I got rid of everything I was worrying about. She has a cute voice, though. I give I gave the plate a shake to get the last of the water off of it and handed it to Hina. They are fucking building this up. They're building it up. All right, <laughs> nice ASMR there. She wiped it down and put it away in the cupboard. They are doing this on fucking purpose. They're doing this on purpose. build-up is so obvious. Hina doesn't seem any different as we do this, but I wonder if that's intentional, if she is pushing herself to appear that way while she waits for me, I wonder. Hina's been quietly patient 
All this time I've been searching for my answer, she hasn't pressed me for it once interacting with me as normal instead. I've been the one feeling nervous and creating distance between us. Yeah, I'm sorry, you know. I finally... Okay. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's bring this on. Let's see. Alright. Seems like she realizes what I mean. Yeah, that's right. Yes. God, she's adorable. <laughs> After a flustered moment. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Music stop. Never mind. <laughs> Hina looked straight at me, waiting. We know where this is going. We know where this is going. Boom. Awesome. I thought about how I should tell her, but I couldn't think of any other ways to say it. I love you, I wanted to tell you that first. Okay, 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 okay. We got it! There we go, alright. Alright then. Hina leapt into my arms and I caught her. I wrapped my arms around her back. Hina's always fit into my arms like this. That hasn't changed since we were little and her weight is so warm and so comforting to me now. Ah, that's great. Hina gave a little shake of her head. Still, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. When I was left with... What I was left with in that moment, at the bottom of my heart, when I got rid of everything I'd been worrying about bit by bit, what I was left with was... <laughs> those words from Hina. When I heard those words from Hina, it felt like everything else had disappeared along with my ability to think. I was too shocked then. But those words connected to something in my heart. The fluttering feeling I got deep inside when I thought of Hina, the worry and concern I had for, I felt for her. The relentlessness... Thank you. That appeared in my heart this summer every time I thought of Hina or, or saw her or spoke with her. They connected with the fluttering in my heart. The two melted together. And what remained after I'd boiled everything down was something beautiful. So beautiful I was almost afraid to look at it. All those worries and doubt I'd piled up on top of it, pushing it down and hiding it from myself. I was worrying about, uh, worrying and stressing because all I could see was what was, what was piled up on top. Okay, yeah. My answer to Hina, my feelings for Hina were, they were there from the moment she confessed to me. They were with me every moment I was worrying. A habit Hina has had since she was small. She buried her face in my chest, I w it was something she did when she was happy. Nah, like a little... Kitty. This is great. Kinda doubtful a little bit because there would still be this awkward, like, being together, like the same thing that she did basically while she couldn't figure it out. It was also a little bit awkward, obviously. Good thing we didn't get to experience that though. I could feel Hina's arms tighten around me. So, how does it work with the spirits then? Hina's much stronger than me. Okay. 
Great to see that Yuna found someone, though. I'm not as strong as Hina thinks I am, because at the beginning I wasn't too sure. <laughs> but give it a thorough thought for like a month. I got the I get the feeling that every day with Hina will make me stronger. I get the feeling I'll be able to overcome all sorts of things, as long as I hold Hina in my arms. Hina looked up at my face, straight at me, I admired those eyes of hers so much. I want to answer that strong, honest gaze of yours. I want to be someone good enough for you. I want to be confident that I can be by your side. Hina's face slowly grew larger in my eyes. Hina's face and mine grow, grew clo closer together, slowly. Right away? Right away. They meet. The fe this feeling on my lips, our first kiss, will be a lifelong treasure of mine, I'm sure. Our lips slowly parted. I gazed down at my precious person. I never thought I would feel this way about someone. I never thought I would want someone to love me as much as I want you to. I love Hina. I never thought I would be able to accept these feelings of mine, of mine so honestly. I don't care what would happen if I'd been like I was before spring. Would Hina have even confessed to me? Would I have been able to answer her? Would I have fallen in love with her? Would I have realized that I was in love? I doubt it. I'm sure none of that would have happened. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I wouldn't be able to hold Tina in my arms like this and kiss her. Yeah, that's for sure. Praise Sachi-san and Megami. Yeah, I've changed a lot, haven't I? I and I know why. Yeah. Is she gonna tell her about Megumi and Sachi-san? It's because I meet, I met them. She gonna mention them? Well, at the moment, she would definitely believe you. And at the, in any other scenario, she probably would think you're maybe a nutcase. <laughs> okay, that was fucking awesome. That was fucking awesome. Bonds 8. Let's just go straight at it and see what else comes up. I want to know if she. Maybe. You think she can see them? No, probably not. <laughs> All right. Lunch on Monday. I invited Ano and Tina to come up to the roof for lunch with me. Since I wanted to introduce them to Sachi-san and Megumi, I wanted to introduce my friends to each other properly. The people precious to me. <laughs> She's reading. Uh, she reading. She's actually talking a lot more than before, isn't she? <laughs> are you sure, or are you just not telling that that to yourself? <laughs> I answered Sachisa, not in the usual whispers I used to speak to them. I guess this goes for all of them. Let me correct myself. That's gonna be interesting now. Alright. I said clearly out loud. <laughs> well, I didn't think all three of them would come at me at once. <laughs> I indicated Sachi-san and Megumi's direction for them. <laughs> In their usual pose. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to ignore that for now.
Hinasuke's was fixated where my hand had indicated. Are you sure? Is she hearing that? Ah, okay. <laughs> Possess her, then she definitely knows. But she said when these two have sex together, then that's that's the weird thing. <laughs> Anna's laughing like she is really amused. I'm happy that Hina is taking my word for it, but it makes me a little nervous that it was so easy, I guess. This time I turned to the two spirits. Again, kindred spirits. <laughs> I took Hina's hand and drew her to me, put my, put my hand on her shoulder and pulled her close. <laughs> With that smile of hers. <laughs> Hina looked the same way I was facing and bowed. Totally accurate, I might as I might say. <laughs> Even though she said it kind of was. It was a pretty easy answer, though. <laughs> Even after I'd been endlessly worrying and wavering and going all around in circles in my head, but I finally managed to answer Hina. I finally managed to tell her my feelings. I finally told her that I love her. Aside from Megami, you don't usually hear to towards Yuna. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't met these two. Uh, what I would have been doing if I hadn't gotten wrapped up in helping those two ki these two kindred spirits. At the right time, at the right place. If I hadn't seen so much love reciprocated. I know the words, but, I've, but I know the word, but I fucking hate it. If I hadn't known what their feelings led to. Would I have been able to answer Hina? Would I have run away instead? Would I have been able to tell her I love her? That really depends on the circumstances. I'm, uh, you, maybe you wouldn't even be in the spot, though. That you are in right now. After we finished eating and I shared a little of my food with the two kindred spirits, I had Ano and Tina go back without me telling them I had to talk to the ghosts a little longer. Kindred spirits. Okay. I said to Sachi-san, all too aware on the way my heart was pounding. <laughs> That's just gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I 
That didn't even happen. Oh, okay. We offer? <laughs> I can hardly believe what I'm, <laughs> I'm proposing to these two. This could be interesting. This would be the ult <laughs> Pun intended, the ultimate climax. Okay. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but, you know, the thing is, with the whole first time and stuff, especially considering Yuna and Tina's past, wouldn't the, your own room on the bed just be better than on the school ground somewhere, isolated? It's hard to tell. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? And then also being possessed by those two. I mean, I get what you're trying to do. I get that you're trying to help, and that is probably the best way to help them. But that's all. Doesn't that also take a little bit of int in intimacy away, knowing that you get possessed while that? It's a little bit mm, not sure. They are both spirits. If they stick right up close to our living bodies, they can share our senses. And if they possess us more deeply, they can control our bodies themselves. I knew that. I knew that, but until now, I told him never to do it since it seemed too scary to me. <laughs> Not like with the food you wanted over and over again. <laughs> if it's just once, then it's fine. I know their goal, to have a happy first time together and let go of, the, of their regrets in this world. So, if it's just once, they can use my body and Hina's. But we know who's taking whom. Sachi san is gonna take Yuna and Megumi is gonna take Hina. Watch them be role reversal this time. I would have liked to know if they can actually possess other people. I mean, Megumi said she they can. So I guess, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's taking her... Like, Hina is taking Yuna at face value, I'm pretty sure about that. But couldn't they just have, like, possessed Hina and or Ano? I mean, Ano has a sixth sense, so she knows they're there. And Hina also believes her, but still, just to make sure, Yuna could have been like, Yo, Megumi, possess possess those two, and such and you know, you take the, possess the other one, and then, you, then they actually know that they're there. I told her yesterday morning after I returned her confession. It was probably a strange thing to bring up all of a sudden. And it was the right time, I think. But, when I thought about it, how I could repay these two, I decided to had, I had to tell her. I don't even think I I've, I'd have been able to answer Hina if they hadn't been here. Honestly, I'm not sure if I managed to explain it to her properly or if she really understood what I meant, but she agreed right away. So, so. It was the right moment, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was drastic. <laughs> Don't worry, it didn't cloud her judgment in, in the slightest. Such then asked me again with her usual gentle expression. I answered, there was nothing else I could say. Since this is what I can do for them. Yeah, to repay them. I get that. Still. It's like that first time. It's a little bit... Mm. 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 Takes a little bit of the in in intimacy away, maybe. But I don't know. We're gonna see how the game 